All right. This time, we're going to jump on this thing as soon as we press the button and see if we can knock it over. Here we go. There, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that is just... I don't know. That'll never get old, you guys. That'll just never get old. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and we are just about ready to roll over to the Flora stage. Boom, it happened. All right, we got a DNA manipulator, and we are in the Flora stage. That's a beautiful thing. Um, we also unlocked the gas extractor, and we unlocked the uh, orbital informations screen. Um, and we unlocked the seed spreader rocket. So we're going to start off by building the, uh, a couple of those new things anyways. Uh, let's start with the screen. What does it require? Oh, I guess we have that in our in here. Orbital information. So we need an osmium, a silicon, and a microchip compass. Okay. Uh, for a microchip compass, we need... Two aluminums, a silicon, and a magnesium. Two aluminum, a silicon, and a magnesium. Silicon is going to be here. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, microchip compass. All right, and then an osmium and a silicon. We're also, though, going to put up another glass wall up there to put this screen on and uh, so we need an iron and a cobalt for that iron and a cobalt okay let's go do that next uh, oh you know what that's gonna have to move yeah okay so let's grab those out of there you there and then grab the orbital screen oh that's a little one okay then I don't want to put this on the floor okay why don't we let's 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 put another desk down Maybe even two desks. Well, no, we're not going to be able to fit two desks in here. Uh, why don't we kind of hold this more to the side? Because we need room to get into that one. Okay, and we'll put... I'll put this in the center for now, but if and when we need to do another small screen, then we'll move them over. Okay. Show interface. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cool. So I think... Plants. Rocket, magnetic field, asteroids attraction. Interesting. And a GPS satellite rocket. It doesn't really... it do, All it does is tell us how many we have of each. Which is still useful because, you know, over time you'd probably forget that. You know what I was thinking would be cool too? Is if we... If our planet actually had um, oceans. You know, not like that we could necessarily even go out into. But we've got all that no man's land out there. It would really be cool if they just turned that into an ocean, you know. Um, maybe maybe in the future. Okay, we got that done. Let's see, what else now? We want to... We're going to build a seeds rocket. Um, so let's go... Actually, yeah, let's go back out there. Oh, I want to show you guys something really weird that happened too. Um, if you look at my, my, my cursor... All the way over there, there's a little kind of light blue dot. 
that's actually one of those uh, white crystals, and it's growing off of the root of a plant. This is really bizarre. Um, okay, so the seed spreader rocket is this one, and it and it's an oxygen multiplier. The plants one is a, or the moss one's a plants multiplier. This is an oxygen multiplier, which is what we want because we want to be able to start breathing air. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need two supers, a tree bark. A bacteria sample and a mutagen. Okay, probably not gonna remember all that shit. Um, let's grab the tree bark. And okay, so we're gonna need a bunch of this. To make a mutagen, we need. Ooh, we're lucky that we, we, we actually happen to have one more methane cartridge that we found in some loot somewhere. Because I can't make those. So yeah, we totally lucked out on that one. Um, Alright, so this requires a bacteria sample and a sulfur. Okay, now to make the bacteria sample, we need water. We need to actually make two of them because... Oh, well, here we need a bacteria sample to make the mutagen and then we just need a bacteria sample okay so let's make that make the mutagen and uh, then we need more water three for the sample and one for us to keep in our inventory is we can put back for now oh right you know the blue chips or blue chips microchips let's just keep those in here for now uh, yeah. Okay, let's make the bacteria sample. Oh, nice! We can now make the super alloy rod. Baby, that is awesome. That is awesome. There was something I wanted to make, and I couldn't because it required that. I think it's actually one of the rockets, now that I think about it. Okay, so we got the mutagen, we got the bacteria sample. We needed two supers. I remember that much. And we need to make a rocket, so we need three supers. We're going to need two uraniums and an iridium rod. I still haven't picked up all the iridium from the last one either. Um, okay, so, yeah, let's make the rocket. Oh, nice. It's cool that we can make that now, man. Um, I'm not going to make it until we need to, though. And I'm probably forgetting something. <laughs> let's go look. So this is where it probably would be really useful to, to see if we can make that pin recipe thing. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing a seed spreader. Oh, yeah, we have it all. Okay, let's do it. Huh, look at that. Cool. Okay, let's launch. Let's let it get off the platform a bit. Okay, now let's see if we can mess with it. We're not, we're not doing a very good job of messing with them, are we? Okay. So what's going to happen? Are we going to see seeds floating down all over the place? Oh, it's the same effect as the moss, the moss rocket. It's just those little green spores. Hmm, okay. Fair enough. As long as you get, get some oxygen so I can breathe. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. Excellent. Um, all right. Do I have water? Yeah. I want to see if there's... There's probably a little bit more iridium out, out there lying around. And again, I don't want to waste it. Okay, we'll put all you back. We'll drink you. Let's also top our food off. good to go. We got an O2 bottle and a water bottle. All right, just want to fly around and see if there's any more iridium we could grab because like I said I didn't I didn't grab all of it. I didn't want to get too far away from the base because I wanted to be there and, and show on camera when we rolled over to the 
flora stage. Look at that. There's a fern out here. <laughs> that is amazing. This game is so fun, man. It's also frustrating as hell for me because of all the crashes I've had to deal with. But, um, I don't know, man. It's like the game and my computer don't get along real well. So, I don't know. I, I play other games, too, obviously, right? I play in Shrouded, for example. No problems. I mean, never have I ever once that I can remember had a crash in, in Shrouded on this computer with this hardware. Um, but not that I can remember. Anyway, maybe it's happened, but it's, you know, just the fact that I can't remember it means it's super rare occurrence if it happens at all, you know? Um... So, yeah, it's a uh, kind of a shame. But, I mean, we're making it work. It's just frustrating, is all. We are making it work, though. Seems to me like the main, most important thing that I did was lock the frames into 60. Uh, but the other thing, too, is, you know, I've got a, I've got a Radon card. Radeon card. Radon, Radeon. I've been an NVIDIA guy for years and years, and I just switched over to Radeon for the first time you know, uh, in forever. And it's got a cool software program called Adrenaline that's kind of part of the driver. And you can use it to, you know, to tweak stuff. And I think that that kind of messes with Planet Crafter too. Yeah, look at this. There's a zeolite on this root here. That is weird. All right, well, let's harvest it because that's what we do. The planet finally starts growing some life and then we come along and exploit it. I'm a human being. What do you expect? Am I right? <laughs> so, um, anyway, the, uh, what we're talking about. Yeah. So the, the Radeon, uh, the, uh, adrenaline, sorry. Yeah. The adrenaline software. I think if I turn that on or try and have it mess with the game, it just, it doesn't like it. So I have to pretty much tell the adrenaline software, don't touch planet crafter, just run it on pure default settings. And then it seems to behave. For the most part, you know, so, all right. Anyway, let's turn these into rods. Well, we'll turn that, that much into rod anyway. That one's completely full. I think I have iridium in this overflow and even in here. It's crazy, man. Okay, we'll put this zeolite in here. Is this a, a normal, or is this one of them super... No, this is a normal. I hope we get another one of those super alloy things now that we can make the rods, because then, you know, we're going to start consuming super alloys again pretty heavily, I would think. So, we got the rocket up in the air. We're already 10% of the way to trees. That's fast, man. Stuff is just cranking. Where are we at with pressure? Okay, we're at 175. We need to be at 364. So we're almost halfway to our tier two ore extractor. Look at those numbers moving. All right, so what the hell does this gas extractor thing actually do? Is it an oxygen? I mean, it says it generates heat, but it's not very much. It's only it's only 10.4, uh, which is nothing compared to our Tier 4 heaters. Automatically extracts gas from the ground. Well, let's just put one down and see what it does. Um, except for that it's going to use 69 energy. And uh, so I think it's time for us to put down another nuclear power plant. Let's do that right now. We got the uranium for it. Um, what else do we need for those? Or no, sorry, looking at the wrong thing. We need a super, an explosive, and some water. A super, um, we got the waters, and we'll make the explosive back here. Yeah, that is really weird that the waterfall decided... To start making noise. It did not make a sound yet in yesterday's episode. Well, yesterday for me. 
uh, the episode where you know it first showed up. It, it, there was no sound to it at all, and I didn't even notice it. You know, I, you'd think I would have, but I didn't. So, uh, what are we doing? We're making one of these. Okay, so we should have everything for another power plant. We do. That's a beautiful thing. Let's go outside and set it down. Let's also save. Still don't trust this game. Um. Okay. Let's put this one. I think we tried to do this last time and it wouldn't fit, right? Yeah, because that terrain's in the way. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we could just hold it this way a little bit. All right, that's like... Hold on a sec. Okay, I think that's perfectly lined up there. Yeah. So... We would have to offset it by that much, which is... I'm not happy with that. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to start a new row coming out this way. I mean, at some point, we're probably going to be putting the nuclear uh, nuclear fusion things down when they unlock. So we may not be using a whole lot more of those. Next, we want to put one of these gas thingies down. Okay, so we need three supers, two zeolites, and an iridium rod. One, two, three supers. First time we've used zeolite. And an iridium rod. Okay. Um, where are we gonna put this damn thing? Well, let's see how big it is first. Oh, that's not very big at all. Okay. Um, I don't want to put it over here because this is our power area. If we end up putting several of these down, I want some room for them. Maybe we could put them over here. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's put them over here. Okay. So this is It says production time. So I'm going to say, oh, okay. So oh, that's how we do that. Okay. <laughs> that's how we get our methane cartridges. Well, there you go. Huh, it, why the hell doesn't it say methane producer? Then I would have known what it was for. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Um okay, good deal. So this isn't really used to, you know, for terraforming so much. It's it's used to produce stuff for us. Um, does it have to be outside? I bet you it does. I don't know that I would want to put this inside anyway. But you know what? Now that I know what its purpose is, I kind of want to put it by a door. We could even put a side door in the hallway here. Um, that might not be a bad idea just for accessibility. That was just a normal meteorite that hit there. This is cool, man. We're starting to see ferns and big old tufts of grass pop up. So neat. All right. Let's grab our tree bark, put it in here. So that doorway... is this guy right here. We could put a door out both sides just so we can get in on both sides if we need to. Let's do it. Because why the hell not, right? Okay, we're going to need to make some stairs on both sides as well. We're going to need one silicon per door and an iron Wait, what does the door require? Oh, and a titanium as well. Okay. So two titaniums, two irons, two silicon, plus two additional irons for the stairs. 
That should be right. There we go. And then let's flip this around. That's possibly going to be in the way. Wait a second. Why does this have O2 in it when it says it's a methane cartridge? Does it do... Oh, I wonder if it does both. Kind of like the, the ore extractors. So this is like a byproduct. Hmm. I, I like, though, that, that it's actually making O2 for us. But it makes me wonder if I want to kind of rethink um, where I want to put it. If it's our O2 maker, I'd kind of like it to be by our water maker. Just because I would. So maybe we should move it over to here. And if it turns out that one of them is not enough for us then we can make another one as well yeah okay so the, this is just byproduct all right so since we have our first methane i'm going to go ahead and move this and let's put it out, out in front by our, our our water generator let's see right here okay We'll put it, yeah, we'll put it right there. And then if we decide we need more, we have plenty of room to, to place even more. I like it. I like it. I like it. Probably the methane bottles we should keep in here because this is where we're going to use them. Maybe what we'll do is we'll make a, a chest for methane. Two, three. And it also means we can make some more of those rockets to boost our oxygen production even more. I very much like that idea, I gotta say. All right. Whoops. Caps lock. Methane. All right. We are doing good, ladies and gents. Already 21% of the way towards trees. Uh, pressure is now up to 218. So we're getting close. We are getting close to ore extractor tier two. Um, all right. So the next power thing is going to be the nuclear fusion generator. So that's up and coming. The tree spreader T1, I think we unlock in, in, in here. But it looks like we're going to get the food grower first before we get to the, the, uh, this. That grows food faster. Hmm. I mean, that's nice and all, but I've got food coming out my ears now. <laughs> so I don't know if that's needed. Unless we get into a situation where we really need to start cranking out massive amounts of food for crafting purposes, uh, which might happen. I don't know. I'll we'll have to see. Okay. Nifty. All right. What are we going to do with the rest of our time in this episode? Um, you know what I would like to do is I would like to make the tier four mining chip. I haven't actually done that yet. So we need a silicon, an Oz, and a super. Exoskeleton Tier 3. Nice. Just in time, too, because this is going to take up all of our slots. 
Um, in fact, we should probably make that first. We need another Oz, a uranium, and a super alloy. Why do we need a uranium rod for something we're wearing around our waist? That makes me a little uneasy. <laughs> uh, and we can't make one either. <laughs> Unless we, well, we can. We're just going to have to launch another rocket. Okay, well, for the moment, let's just go ahead and make the tier 4 drill chip, mining speed chip. And now we have a 40% mining time reduction. Oh, I guess that didn't actually take that slot. That's right, it just replaces. Cool. Um, all right, so we're gonna need uranium, which in the Oh, we got a new message. The only way we can do that that I'm aware of is is to launch another rocket, which we can do. Uh, let's go see what this message is about. Actually, we need to drink something. Oh, that one made a bunch of methane. So it must just be random. Sometimes you get more methane, sometimes you get more O2. That's my guess. Let's grab some food here. In fact, speaking of which, is this ready to harvest yet? It is. I want to keep these going because I'm using these things, eggplant mostly, to make fertilizer and stuff. And uh, so I want to keep it, make sure we keep building it up. All right. Let's go see what this message is about. I'm going to do a game save. Okay. We, oh, we got two messages from Riley. Well, this is that one that keeps popping up. Okay. I've conducted a deep scan of the planet and something is off. I'm getting strange geological signatures and incoherent topographical data near your location. It's almost as if when rockets launch from your planet, something throws them off course and they go kilter. Off kilter, rather. <laughs> Try to get to this place. Minus 248, 42, 93. Use the bottom left corner of your interface to find your way around. Hey, that's sketch. All right. Um, what I'm going to do... I'm going to actually take a picture of this on my phone. Those coordinates. If we're in the map screen... I think we've read all of these messages. We have read all this stuff. It's just... We read it when we were in the bunkers. Does this show quartz? No. It might, though, you know, once we launch that that other map rocket. We need to go investigate these two areas. And this area and this area. We haven't been in those areas yet. I haven't, anyways. Uh, well, I've never been in these areas at all, because that's new. I think it's new. I have been in these areas in the past. There's a lot of water down in there, too. It's kind of like the Grand Canyon. That's cool. All right. Anyway, um, so the map doesn't show those coordinates, so we'll just have to, at some point, we'll check that out. Um, not necessarily right now, though. 27%. So I think the next thing we were going to do is launch another uranium rocket so that we can make a uranium rod so that we can make the Tier 4 exoskeleton. Um, can we make that pin thing? Let's look. That sure seems awful, awfully expensive for something as stupid as pinning a recipe. <laughs> it's like, really? Uh, but I mean, we can do it. We need an aluminum, an Oz, a super, two cobalts, and a mag. An aluminum, an Oz, a super, two cobalts, and a mag. Allows to pin one crafting recipe. Right click on an object to pin its recipe. Do it again to clear it. Okay. Oh, I already have too much water. That thing actually produces pretty quickly. 
Um, it, it may be that one one is all we'll ever need, you know? I don't know. Maybe we're, we're going to need massive amounts of that later on. Okay. Let's go out here. We want... Uh, yeah, uranium. So if we right click on it. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it puts it up in the upper left corner and then to remove it. It said to right. Oh, do we have to be in the menu to right click it again? We do. Oh, okay. Well, that's useful. Especially especially for the rockets. All right, so we need two supers. We sure use a lot of super alloy in this game. My goodness. Um, I don't think we have any more cobalt and overflow. One, two, three cobalt. A rocket engine. Uh, no, right here. Cut it out. Okay, two of those, an iridium rod, uh, right here. <sighs> okay. Are we are we already using a tier three jetpack? Oh yeah, we are. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, how long's that been there? Uh, it's been there ever since you made it. Okay, so. I think we have everything. Yeah, okay. All right. This time we're going to jump on this thing as soon as we press the button and see if we can knock it over. Here we go. There, <laughs> there we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is just... I don't know. That'll never get old, you guys. That'll just never get old. All right, let's get out here so most of the meteorites land out here where we can get to them easily. <laughs> all right, I think that's all of them. Um, we're going to grab nine right now so we can make that... Oh, I missed all this iridium. Okay, yep, that gives us nine. I'll pick the rest of it later after the debris clears. All right, what else did we need for that guy? We need a super and two Oz. Oh shit, do we have two Osmiums left? Hmm. Yeah, that's all we have left. <laughs> okay. That's why I want to get that tier four drill going. Or, I'm sorry, tier two ore extractor. All right, so to make one of these, we need eight supers and an aluminum. Okay. There we go. And make the... T oh, this is the tier three, okay. Excellent. All right, so it opened up a whole nother row for us. All right. Let's see where we're at here. 36% of the way to the tree stage. We are 275 on the pressure. So we need to get... So we have a less than 100 to go uh, to get to the T2. That's cool. Oh, the DNA manipulator. Manipulates DNA to create new genes. That looks like an indoor instrument station. And we could make it if we hadn't have used our last osmium. So we'll have to wait. 
uh, you know, until we can do that, which isn't a problem. We could probably stand to throw some more algae generators down uh, to in our lake here. I've got all that stuff over at the other lake. Because uh, I don't think that lake's going to get any higher than it currently is. Pretty sure that's going to be its maximum um, height. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Um, my plan for the next episode is to is to go do some exploring, um, and hopefully, uh, I'm I'm expecting us to be able to make the tier two or extractor uh, in the next episode as well. Um, and then we'll go explore some of those areas that we haven't hit yet. So that is the plan. And with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like. Is that is that waterfall like? flowing out the side now too it wasn't doing that before was it i don't know <laughs> anyway uh yeah it was not doing that before and it wasn't making sound before either i don't know man my waterfall i'm not sure what to think about that thing anyways i completely screwed up my outro so when i do that i just say goodbye goodbye <laughs>